beloved family of light, beloved individualized flames journeying upon the earth, I greet each of you through your own beloved higher self, your own beloved mighty I am Christ presence, this day through our messenger Excalibur. I thank beloved mother Akasha for opening the way for me to be with you in this broadcast this day. As I stream forth my presence, my energy, and my substance through the words that I speak through this messenger, I ask each of you to make yourselves an open door, to call through your heart to your own beloved higher self, to assist you to enter into that greater stillness and silence in which you are attentive, in which the power of your attention is fully anchored upon the glorious I am Christ presence within you and above you, that you feel throughout my discourse that the sense of separation between you and your higher self that is closer than breathing, nearer than hands and feet, is lessening. That the sense of separation is dissipating. And that experience that you have had journeying upon the earth, that God, that goddess, that source, that the divine presence of the universe has been something afar off and that you have been seemingly incapable of contacting it, of making what we would call personal and direct contact, of actually experiencing it, of feeling it, of communing with it, of meditating upon it. This, dear hearts, as I am with you, and I am streaming and projecting with my angels of purity, my cosmic blue flames and violet flames, in through and around each of you, that sense of separation will lessen and lessen, and every day forward it will become less and less, until the moment comes in which the sense of separation, the feeling of your higher self, of your presence, being afar off, somewhere out there distant, in which you cannot pinpoint or find an exact location of its whereabouts, will disappear completely from your consciousness, and you will experience conscious contact with your own divinity, within you and above you. You will sense it. You will feel it. You will experience it all around you. And you will know the truth of those words that I am with you always. I am closer than breathing. I am nearer than hands or feet. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world, unto the end of duality consciousness, unto the end of the dream of believing in the tree of knowledge of two powers of good and evil. That those dueling impulses that have dueled each other, have battled each other throughout the centuries, comes to a completion by your own willingness to turn within and face your true self and behold the face of your true self and hear the voice of your true self in that great, great silence and know that you have always been a part of your own I am presence, of your own higher self, and you have always been a part of the infinite I am presence in the great central sun. You have always been a part, and by that I mean connected to what you might call source, 
you have always been a part of the greater divine picture, divine vision, divine image of life itself, of this universe. It is what we call the indissoluble union. No matter what you have done to separate yourself through the power of your own free will and the power of belief, you have this entire time been using the energy and substance of the greater, of your own higher self, that is within you, beating your heart and governing all the functions of your physical form, of the atomic structure of which you play little to no part in. You are not taking care of the digestive factors of the foods you put in your physical body, nor the absorption of the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, or the excretion the elimination of the toxins that pass through your physical form, the excess waste. All of that is governed by your higher discerning intelligence, your higher Christ mind. And the more that you can enter into the greater stream of purity, of the love of the sacred fire's presence, and be in that greater stillness and silence, surrendering your life back to that higher self, then that higher Christ presence can work with the DNA, can work with the cells of the physical body, the organs, the muscles, the bones, and begin to use the powers of alchemy and bring about the transformations, the transmutations, and the transfigurations, and ultimately the metamorphosis that leans to the outpicturing of the true image and similitude of your higher Christ self, your white fire body that stands directly above you and oversees all the functions of the outer self of your outer life. You have sought to control your life, and you have done your very best and your utmost to live the best life you could possibly live, taking into consideration all the forces that are good, that are bad, that are positive, that are negative, that are constructive, that are destructive in this world. Ultimately, in your heart of hearts, each of you have done your very best. And I, the goddess of purity, extend the love, the recognition, the acknowledgement of my heart's flame of immortal purity to each of you. As I say to you, beloved hearts, you have done splendid things. You have done magnificent things. You have done wondrous things. You have accomplished many things of which you do not give your own selves credit for. Yes, there must always be an increase in humility and humbleness before the great presence of life within you and above you and all around you that does all things, that completes the works that are coming forth through you each and every day, even the simple things such as washing and drying your clothing, washing and drying your dishes, washing and drying your physical bodies and all the various other activities that you do as a caretaker, as a custodian of life's greater gifts and blessings upon this earth. Yes, the earth is the Lord's 
and all that dwell therein belongs to the greater presence within your heart and that stands directly above you. And beyond that, all that is within the world belongs to the great builders of creation, the Elohim, the seven mighty Elom, and the seven majestic supreme Aloha, and other beings, dear hearts, of which you will come to know and meet and greet, walk and talk face to face with in this incoming, permanent, seventh golden crystal age. I desire you to give yourselves in this moment, in the fullness of the presence of my sacred fire, love and purity, from your heart and using your mind, an extension of love, of gratitude, of appreciation, of recognition, of acknowledgement for all that your life has accomplished up to this now moment in which you are listening to me speak to you through this messenger. For I am speaking to your hearts. For I am encouraging in this moment upliftment, a rising activity, an elevating activity of a new profound sense of awareness in which you acknowledge yourself for all things that life, that energy, that substance that comes from your I am presence through your higher Christ self into the outer self is accomplishing and achieving each and every day. Again, simple things such as picking up and dropping off your children or grandchildren or children of friends and family to their schools, to their sporting events, to their musical gatherings, to their dance recitals, to many various activities they are engaged in. Something as simple as that in which you, in the fullness of your presence, show up for the rest of life, and especially the youth, especially the incoming life streams, because it is you who influence them, and soon to be, it will be them who are influencing you, as they come in with their consciousness completely cleansed and purified of all duality, and have all signed agreements with their higher mental bodies, the angelic host, and the overlighting ascended masters of this incoming seventh golden age, in which they will not permit any duality of the outer world, any impurity of the consciousness of the outer world, to impose itself upon them, to infiltrate or influence their consciousness, they will take their stand in the fullness of the presence of the Christ, of their own beloved higher self, and will remain whole and pure, authentic, genuine, sincere and earnest in the fullness of their presence, always humble before that great presence, and yet in the full confidence in which they express themselves, in which they allow the greater to express itself through each of them, because they have chosen love. They have chosen to be a son's presence of love. They have chosen to be a source of loving vibrations and frequencies and actions and words and demonstrations in this world. And they have chosen to acknowledge, accept, and not forget their source, their source of life, their source of creation, the great central sun, the heart flame of the great, great silence. And they will not have a sense of separation as you have had. They will carry forward with the sense of knowing the indissoluble union and their eternal oneness with the infinite I am presence, with the creator of our universe. And thus, within them, I am speaking of the youth still, 
within them will come forth the radiation blazing out from them, influencing the consciousness of the masses of the people, in which the statement is anchored within their consciousness and goes forth through the power of radiation as a mighty vibration. I and my father, mother are one, and I am not speaking of their biological parents. I am speaking of the Heavenly Father and mother. Within them will be the knowingness, I and my heavenly father and mother are one, and all that they have is mine, by divine birthright, divine inheritance, and spiritual heritage. Nothing of the outer world will be able to impose fear or doubts upon them. Thus, they will not lack for any good or constructive thing. They will cause the universe to bring forth, to draw forth, to produce forth before them into their outer physical hands and use the infinite abundance, opulence, and supply of every good and constructive thing. Thus, they will become the teachers of the world. And yet, in the meantime, before that becomes a visible, tangible demonstration before the people of the world, you, beloved hearts, are the way-showers. You are the torch-bearers. You are the pioneers. You are the ones that have been chosen as part of this divine plan to hold the door open as you return to your own true integrity, of your own true spiritual identity, and feeling the dignity and the purity of your true self, knowing as many of us have described to you in former discourses, in which we have revealed to you the light within your heart, the love within your heart, the sacred fire of the unfed flame within your heart has never gone anywhere. It has been there the entire time. And it is only due to coming into this world of duality that the shadows of the darkness of duality consciousness, of human consciousness, has covered over that light, has covered over that love, has covered over that sacred fire of the unfed flame. It has always been there, temporarily covered over, just as a beautiful jewel, which are really condensations of light, a diamond, a sapphire, a ruby, a topaz, an emerald, lies beneath the earth's surface, covered over, hiding in the rock formation of the density of the outer world. So too has the jewel of fire within your heart been covered over by the density and duality of the outer world. And yet, you have awakened. And through your application and your journey back to your heart, back to your true self, the veils and the feeling and the sense of knowing that beautiful jewel of fire is there. You are coming closer and closer and closer every passing day to beholding that jewel of fire, to experiencing that flame within your heart and that fiery sun's presence within your chest welling up that you actually feel a fiery furnace of the Christ light, of the soul's love, emerging from within out that gives you what you call goosebumps in which the central nervous system 
of your physical body is responding to the invisible power of divine love, the invisible presence of your true self within you and above you that is rising up, that is pouring down from above you through the top of your head into the physical heart, back up into the brain structure and throughout the central nervous system. This presence is always revealing itself unto you every moment of your life through your prayers, through your calls, through your decrees, through your contemplative walks out in nature or in your city, wherever you are, as you are contemplating your I am Christ presence and the greater source of life that is behind all creation, as you are entering into your beautiful meditations, getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the great, great silence and total stillness, where then true illumination can come, can rise up into your awareness and give you the greater insight and reveal to you all that it desires you to know in that moment. You are so beautiful, dear hearts. The incoming life streams, the youth, the children, the younger generations, will be more and more beautiful, not just in their physical forms, but in their minds, in their thoughts, in the way they view the world, in the way they see the world, in the way they respond to the world, and in the way that they hold the higher visions for the transformation of this world out of hate, out of anger, out of destruction and depravity and impurity, back into the true beauty that this planet, this Garden of Eden, was in her first two golden ages. They will bring in those higher vibrations, those geometries, those blueprints, those symbols, those ideas, those beautiful pictures and images. And yet, in these moments, you yourselves have every opportunity and all capacity to open yourselves to all of these greater activities that come forth from the heavens above, that come forth from the octaves of light and the ascended master realms of life. Our octaves, dear hearts, are made of pure cosmic light substance. And all within our ascended master octaves is imperishable. It's self-luminous. It is created, maintained, sustained, and governed by the unfed flame from the, the heart of the great central sun. Nothing is temporal. Nothing perishes. Nothing passes through what you call the change called death. Nothing decays. Nothing disintegrates. Nothing breaks down. If we desire to change anything, we just project the light rays and the love of the sacred fire from out of our hearts and the sevenfold flame within our brains. And we hold the image, the picture, and then we pour the love that is the feeling into it. And we simply change its rate of vibration and it becomes a different image, a different form. But there is no energy added to it or taken away from it. There is only the changing of the image, the picture, and the rate of vibration that is our feeling to change that form from one image to another, from one activity to another. And you are doing it every day in your own lives. You just have not caught up with yourself yet. For you, everything in your world is temporal. Everything in your world is always changing 
And that's the only constant thing down here is change. And if you are resisting change, if you are rebelling against change, when that's what your higher self desires for you, when that's what your greater life desires for you, and all the ascended and angelic hosts and the beings of the elements that are assisting you through the powers of nature and the forces of the elements, when you have that resistance and rebellion, then yes, it is rightfully so that the struggle and the pain increases because you are going against the stream. You are going against the flow. The river is flowing one way and you're battling it. You're fighting it. Instead of going downstream with it, you're going upstream. Today, I, Goddess of Purity, desire you, dear hearts, to allow yourselves to have a new found sense, a new found ability to tap into your heart flame, to tap into the sevenfold flame in your brain, to tap. You know, we say heart flame. I would love to introduce brain flame. And whenever an ascended master says heart flame and then says, brain flame, you automatically know we are referring to the sevenfold flame of the seven mighty alone that is anchored at the center of your forehead, that blazes through your brain structure, that is cleansing and purifying the impurities that have accumulated there due to the certain substances you have placed in your physical bodies throughout your lifetime bringing the crystal clear clarity, amping up the intensification of the incoming cosmic light substance, delivering greater illumination and a greater new sense of use of your faculties and senses and your ability to perceive reality in a whole new light, in a whole new way and means in which you can see the world for what it truly is, you can see what seems to be as the appearance side of life, and then you can see beyond that appearance. And knowing that that appearance is but temporary, is but temporal, it will come today, and it will go tomorrow, and a new appearance will take its place, unless you are willing to go deeper and higher and allow the greater images to fill your mind and feeling side of life. And so yes, I'm going to initiate into the Ascended Master's dialogue, and you will hear this in future discourses now, the brain flame. As the heart flame refers to the unfed flame in your physical heart, the brain flame will refer to the sevenfold flame of the seven mighty alom in your brain structure. This is wonderful. This is so lovely. And all the goddesses are rejoicing with me right now and saying, thank you, goddess of purity. Thank you for sharing this this moment. And we will take it up immediately as soon as any of us have the opportunity to come and be with the precious students of life around the world. Well, I thank you, my beloved sisters. I greatly ap appreciate that. And I send forth the love of my own heart's flame and all its purity to each of you to use it as often as you please, as often as your hearts desire. And may each of you also upon the earth take up this phrase, brain flame or brain flames. <sighs> ah. Allow it to be part of your everyday dialogue perhaps not immediately with those that have no idea what you're speaking of, because the masses of the people are still asleep. They do not know what you are referring to when you say heart flame or unfed flame or sevenfold flame or brain flame. So yes, some discernment there and exercising your inner wisdom 
knowing when to speak and when not to speak and knowing what to speak and not what to speak. Hmm. Yes, dear hearts. I desire each of you to feel more powerfully than you have ever felt before that you are right now the purity of my heart's flame manifest upon the earth. You are the open door into which my rays and flames of immortal purity, of indestructible purity, of eternal love and purity are pouring into this world. You are the examples before your fellow brothers and sisters. You are the examples before the incoming life streams, before the youth, the children of the world. Because they are watching everything. They see and hear everything. And you are influencing them more than you realize. And so, may I, the goddess of purity, assist you to feel a new sense of love, of loveliness, of gentleness within yourself, for yourself, and then from within yourself out into the world. Let those feelings of loveliness, of gentleness, of kindness pour into your communities, pour into your villages, pour into your cities, into your provinces, into your states, into your nations, your countries, your continents, and into the entire planet, into this world, and to the other planets that are a part of this system of worlds. As you will hear us emphasize more and more, you are not the only ones in the universe. There is infinite life everywhere throughout the universe and just because you are not aware of it or know of it or have made contact with it does not mean that it does not exist. So many things that you have experienced in your life did not exist until they first entered your consciousness, came into your awareness and then became a part of what you would call your reality, your experience side of life. There is so much more that is yet to be discovered, that is yet to be unveiled and revealed in, through, to, and around each of you. Life is eternal. Life loves perpetual motion. Life does not care to be stagnant. Life does not care to be stale. Life loves new moments, new experiences, in which there is a new freshness. But first we must refresh your consciousness, revitalize your consciousness, rejuvenate your consciousness, replenish your consciousness with the tree of life teachings so that then the newness of life that awaits each and every one of you within yourself, at the center of your consciousness, and above yourself, directly above your outer physical form. Then and only then can that newness of life that hath said through the beloved Master, Behold, I make all things new. That I that is within the midst of each of you at the center of your consciousness. As we, the ascended masters and the angelic host, come into your midst, come into your lives, and remind you of what you have forgotten. That is the integrity of your true spiritual identity and is the fullness of the tree of life teachings and the magnitude of those tree of life teachings and how the branches of the tree of life teachings spread out throughout the solar systems, 
the galaxies and the universe and then universes throughout the entire cosmos. There are many trees of life, dear hearts. And upon this earth, there is that one tree of knowledge and its belief in two powers of good and evil that you have all taken on just by coming into this world. And yet, as the Master has said, we all continue to say, be of good cheer, for I, that I that maketh all things new, that I that knoweth the past, the present, and the future, that I that is within you, closer than breathing, nearer than hands and feet, that I that says unto you, I am the first, I am the last, yeah, and beside me, there is none, for thou shalt have no other gods before me. I am the only one. I am the one in the many, and I am the many in the one. At first it may sound like I am speaking in riddles. Yet when you come to know me, you shall discover I never was. I was only speaking beyond the ability of the dueling impulses of the mortal mind, of the human mind, of the human intellect, to understand, comprehend, and know me, know myself, know my truth. And only by turning within and entering back into your heart. Would you and could you then possibly fully come to know the meaning of the truth of my words? As that I hath said unto thee from the beginning, if ye abide in me and let my word abide in you, then ye may ask what ye shall and I will make it manifest unto you. It is my word that becomes flesh. It is my word that becomes the energy and substance that comes forth into physical form, that comes forth into this world. Know my words, know my truths, know my statements, and thou shalt set thyself free in the illumining silence, in the illumining stillness of my immortal purity, of my eternal purity, all things are revealed unto thee. I am thy way, I am thy truth, I am thy life, as I am the light and I am the love of the universe. I am the very life that beats your heart. I am the very blood that flows through your arteries and veins. I am the liquid light that flows through the nerve canals of the central nervous system. I am the life force that is within and flowing through the powers of nature and the forces of the elements. I am your supply of every good and constructive thing. I am your sustenance. I am your bread. I am your wine. Come and eat. Come and drink of my consciousness, divine consciousness. And be ye renewed. Be ye restored. Be ye replenished, rejuvenated, and most importantly, made whole again. Yes, it is a journey, but day by day by day, and night by night by night, you are gathering more of my jewels of truth. You are gathering more 
of my pearls of truth, of which you are no longer casting before the swine of the outer world, the ignorant, the unillumined, the more unfortunate or the less than fortunate, who despise my presence, who despise my light, who despise and hate my love, and yet I continue to love them and pour my light, pour my healing vibrations, my loving, compassionate, forgiving, merciful frequencies into their consciousness, that they too one day may turn and face the light and come back into my loving arms and be held, nourished and nurtured by my warm embrace. This is the I that is within every one of us in the Ascended Master's octaves. This is the I that abides within every angel. This is the I that abides within all the beings of nature and the beings of the elements. This is the I that abides at the center of the consciousness within every life stream, within every individual that has come into physical form upon this planet Earth. I, the goddess of purity, strike into your consciousness my fiery Christ blue lightning of indestructible purity, power, and protection. I am cleansing and purifying your consciousness. I am opening up your consciousness to the inflow of divine consciousness, to the inflow of the new pictures and images that are the divine visions and blueprints for this seventh golden age. I am clearing the way before you, and I am drawing each of you back into that immortal feeling, that eternal feeling of the love of my purity, so that within your hearts, and then through your hearts, and your brains, your minds, your entire consciousness, your habits, your desires, your cravings, your yearnings, your longings will all be drawn towards that which brings forth, attracts, magnetizes into your life and through your life into this world the greater purity from my Ascended Master Temple, the greater purity from the Ascended Master's octaves of life, the greater purity that draws the presence of the sacred fire into this world, the greater purity that contains within it eternal happiness, the greater purity that contains within it the greater peace, the peace that passeth all understanding of the daily thinking mind, the peace that can only be felt through the return of divine purity. My purity that opens the way for continuous harmony within your feeling body, within your feeling side of life, so that no matter what you are viewing or hearing or smelling or tasting or whatever is taking place outside of yourself, harmony is the keynote. Harmony is the only vibration and frequency going out from within in all directions from within out. Harmony, harmony, harmony. Because you have established, you have allowed me to anchor my heart's flame of immortal love and purity in, through, and around you. You have allowed me to maintain and sustain that. Then the true happiness, true fulfillment, true contentment, True upliftment, true enthusiasm, true inspiration, and true joy to live life, to be life, to live love, to be love, to live light, to be light, to live the fullness of the presence. The mighty I am within and above is the only 
vibration, is the only desire, is the only acting activity within each of your lives. An influencing presence and power of divine love in all its purity. Everywhere that you abide. For my purity is the true strength and will be the cornerstone for the building of this permanent seventh golden crystal age. For without purity there can be no life. For when there are impurities, there are diseases, there are viruses, there are plagues, there is decay, there is disintegration, there is pain, there is suffering, there is hurt, there is agony, there is distress, there is desperation, there is rebellion, there is selfishness, there is anger, there is hatred, there is violence, there is cruelty, there is brutality, there is the viciousness of human consciousness acting itself out upon this planet. And that, dear hearts, by your willingness, by your determination, yes, by your sheer waves of determination, by your persistence, by your perseverance, by your courage to turn and face the light, to turn within to the greater stillness and silence of your own divinity, of the infinite I am presence in the great central sun. All these impurities that have entered into your own consciousness and that have been in this world for eons of time will cease to be. And each of you starts with yourself. And as we do this together, through each of you, we will push back the impurities of the outer world into themselves. And it is all energy that has been misqualified, requalified, and misused by the free will of destructive individuals in this world, that energy, that impure activity, activities and qualities will turn upon itself. As I have said many times, evil always destroys itself. Those impurities will destroy themselves. We give every individual, no matter how tyrannical they are, no matter how savage they are, we give every live stream the opportunity to turn and face the light, to enter into the sacred fire and have all that impure energy transmuted and set free and their true self revealed through them once again in all its light and love and beauty and honor and respect and purity and perfection. But if they will not enter the light, then they must face their own human creation and ultimately that leads to the change called death, that one must pass out of the physical form and then is taken to the planes of bliss to deal where they have to sort out their karmic debt of what they have done to themselves and to the rest of life in this world, in the third dimension. But everyone is given the opportunity but less and less now are opportunities given because the time-space continuum is shifting, is changing, 
and the cosmic law has set, has set forth into motion. Not is about to, not is going to, has set forth into motion, thus far and no farther. To all that is destructive, of the destructive use of free will, of the energy in this world. Thus those who stand in the light shall be protected by the light. And those of you who are standing in the fullness of my heart's flame of immortal purity shall be eternally protected, safeguarded, and held invincible against the destructive forces in the outer world. You are safe, my dear hearts. You are protected. You are love. You are in and surrounded by my angels and all their safety and security. Lean upon us. And we, well, we will not lean upon you, but we will be there with you to be those support pillars of the sacred fire that allow you that assist you to make the most of this life, to enjoy this embodiment that you have, to enjoy the beauty of the creations that life has in this world and is ready to draw forth into this world. It is endless, dear hearts. Life is eternal. Life is immortal, and now each of us seek to assist you to make your bodies immortal, eternally youthful and beauty, beautiful as they were in former golden ages. But first, we must start with cleansing and purifying through the use of the sacred fire, your consciousness. We must beautify your minds, beautify your thoughts, beautify your emotional bodies, beautify your feeling side of life. Then all the beauty that enters into your mind and feeling side of life must outpicture through your physical bodies. It is divine law. It is the cosmic laws own divine will. And trust me when I say it shall come to pass. We must have visible, tangible demonstrations of this in order to move forward in fulfilling the divine plan for this permanent seventh golden age. Ah, <sighs> deep breath. I have enjoyed my few moments with you this day. And no matter what is taking place in the outer world, dear hearts, let it not concern you. Know that those are momentarily acting energies that are just passing through this world, that are playing themselves out. And, and that must be so, that must happen in order for the new to come in. We can only do so much that the free will of the people offer up their will, then can we intervene. But other than that, we must allow the appearance side of life and its energies to play itself out. But only be concerned with yourself. If you concern yourself with just yourself, I guarantee you that will be more than enough. <laughs> and I chuckle, I giggle inwardly because you will find the humor in it. If you do not right now, one day you will. That just yourself is more than enough for you to be concerned with. And you really don't have to concern yourself with others or anything else in this world but just yourself. Because once you sort yourself out, once you figure yourself out, once you come to know yourself, well then, everything else will accordingly 
fall into place or rise into place most seamlessly, most effortlessly, most harmoniously. And you will get on with living the true life you had set forth into action before coming into this world. I am the goddess of purity. I enfold you in the immortal love of my eternal purity, of my heart's flame. And I thank you for your openness. I thank you for your willingness. I thank you for your cooperation in opening your consciousness to the outpouring of my Ascended Master's consciousness as I am the Ascended Master elect for this year of 2023. I am with you every day, every moment, and I will be doing everything I can through your higher mental bodies to assist you to come to love purity, to come to attract purity, to come to draw, magnetize purity into each of your lives more powerfully and with more powerful desires than you ever have before, but not with strain and struggle as easy as breathing, as easy as absorbing the cosmic light substance from the rays of sunshine that come from the physical sun, as easy as you do anything in this world that to you comes naturally and easily and effortlessly. That is what I shall be doing with my angels of purity behind the scenes to increase your love, your respect, and your honor, your appreciation, and your gratitude for the greater purity, that life through the I Am Presence of each of you provides to this world, provides through the powers of nature and the forces of the elements, provides everywhere throughout this system of worlds and beyond. I love you and I enfold you in my luminous presence of divine purity. And may I, as a P.S., in all the words that I have shared with you and all the energies that I have charged forth into your consciousness, some of which you are aware of in this present moment and others which you will become consciously aware of in future moments, I would love to emphasize to you, dear hearts, I am not seeking any of you to become Puritans. I am not encouraging any of you to take the attitude that I am more pure than you, or that the old saying, holier than thou art, or that you are more righteous in your purity than another. No, that is all the shams and all the games of the outer world of the outer self, of human beings. I am better than you. I am more worthy than you. I am more deserving than you. I am more this than you. And you are less than this than me. And so on and so forth goes the dueling impulses and the shams and games and the silliness of the outer self, of the intellects, of human beings. Let me emphasize and make it crystal clear in the fullness of my purity. None of you, I am not encouraging any of you to become Puritans. And heaven forbid any of you will amongst yourselves, and I mean not just your family or close ones, I mean amongst yourselves of humankind, that you will go out and say to any other person, I am more pure than you, or you are not as pure as me. That is such nonsense, because in the fullness of the presence, in the true image and similitude of your higher self, that is one with the higher self of every other human being, they are as pure as each other. They are the fullness of the sacred love of immortal purity of the unfed flame from the great central sun. There is true equality in their purity. And thus, each one being as pure as the other, there is no room to say, I am more pure than you, or you are less pure than me. 
So let us accept this truth and let us move forward in greater humility and humbleness than ever before and let each one do their very best to cleanse and purify their consciousness, cleanse and purify their physical body, the temple of the Most High Living God, and do everything to give forth honor and respect and adoration to that mighty unfed flame within and above that is the true presence of life that will bring forth the permanent seventh golden age. I am the goddess of purity and I thank you for your time, your energy and your attention that all comes forth through your own higher self, through the unfed flame in each of your hearts. Go forth and spread the sacred fire feelings of my immortal purity to this world. Namaste, beloved hearts of sacred fire love from the great central sun.